I'm about to drop the hammer and dispense some indiscriminate justice! Do you know what really grinds my gears as a Boglehead Total World Stock Market Index Fund investor? It's highly concentrated ETFs that charge insane expense ratios and have high turnover, which causes you to have a lot of taxes come out of your portfolio. Today, we're going to talk about BETS, the BETS ETF, the sports betting ETF. Now, this is designed to offer investors exposure to sports betting, aka degeneracy, in iGaming industries, tracking the Round Hill Sports Betting and iGaming Index. Now, the first thing I always look at in an ETF, any kind of speculative ETF, what is the expense ratio, especially for an index ETF, and what is the turnover ratio? Expense ratios significantly reduce your long-term returns the longer you hold them. You want a low expense ratio. I personally invest in the Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index ETF. I pay 0.08% per year. Compare that to the bets ETF. What is his expense ratio right here? 0.75. That's closing on a 1% expense ratio. So this is nine or 10 times more expensive than the total world stock market ETF. On top of that, assets under management. There are only $359 million that are managed by this fund. What does that mean? If you're trading in and out of this, you're probably paying pretty big bid-ask spreads because there probably isn't that much liquidity. Basically, the more shares and the more money that's in these ETFs, the more liquid the fund should be or the more liquid the ETF should be, which means if you're trading in and out, which you shouldn't be doing, you're not, tra you're not paying as much in bid-ask spreads to the broker. Now, the ETF holdings, there's 43 holdings, which is whatever. I mean, that's, if you want to, buy an index, I guess that's sufficiently diversified for such a narrow slice of the market. But you need to really think about why you're buying this ETF. In my opinion, there's a huge opportunity cost of buying something like this that has such a narrow slice of the market. Because instead of buying this, you could buy the total world stock market index fund and own basically every company in the world, including all of these companies. I bet you the vast majority of these companies are in the total world index. So you might as well hold them at market cap weights. And do you really know if the sports gambling industry is gonna outperform the market over the next 10, 20, or 30 years? If you don't know that, you're not sure, then why are you buying this garbage, okay? So right off the bat, this expense ratio is ridiculous. Eight or 10 times as much as the total world index, and you can buy the same stocks, all right? Uh, like I said, not, not much assets under management. Let's look. So it, it's had a big run up, you know, during the pandemic. So I bet you a bunch of clowns were throwing money into it. And then it's been flat and then it's dipped down recently. Now, I wouldn't touch something that's gone up so parabolically because I think there's a lot of speculative mania in sports betting. It's all these new clowns on Robin Hood putting their money in crap they don't understand. Now, if you look at the weightings of the portfolio, it's not super heavy concentrated in any one company, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So the largest holding is DraftKings, which that's Chris Sane's baby right there. Intain, Flutter, I don't know what any of these companies are, to be honest. But what I don't like is that it's highly, highly concentrated in one industry. And over time, even if you have a run-up in any industry, it's eventually going to revert to the mean. Now, there's a bunch of reasons why that happens, which I'm not going to go into this video, but... Any kind of recent outperformance in any sector is going to lead to lots of competition with a bunch of companies entering the market, which reduces margins, which eventually affects stock prices, which affects the return of your ETF. And the whole time, you're paying 0.75% every freaking year. Now, another thing I don't like about this bets ETF, besides being overpriced, expensive trash, is the turnover ratio. Now read this, portfolio turnover. The fund pays transaction costs, which reduce your returns, such as commissions when it buys and sells securities or turns over its portfolio. 
A higher turnover rate may indicate higher transaction costs and may result in higher taxes when shares are held in a taxable account. So if you have this in Robin stock, yeah, you're gonna be paying a lot of taxes. For the fiscal year ended December 31st, 2020, the fund's portfolio turnover rate was 93% of the average value of the portfolio. So basically every year, they're basically flopping out almost the entire portfolio. That is ridiculously high, especially for an index fund, you could, or index ETF. You compare that to VT, I think the turnover ratio is like 6%. So this is like 15 times higher turnover. So you're paying a higher expense ratio and you're paying a massively high, higher turnover rate, which is transaction costs and taxes, which is what you don't wanna be doing in an ETF. And you're hyper-concentrated in one freaking industry, a tiny speculative industry. Now, that is my main argument for not buying this ETF. If you wanna buy this ETF, keep it to within 5% of your portfolio. I think it's fine if you have the Total World Index Fund and then you want to speculate with 5% of your portfolio. But your core holdings should be the total world, and you should be paying extremely low fees and very low or no turnover. And if you want to speculate because you really believe in gambling, because you're degenerate, then you go right ahead and buy this. But do not put this as a big position in your portfolio because you're taking a massive risk. And you know if it underperforms the market as a whole, it's going to underperform even worse than the market because of the fees and the tax drag and the fee drag from turnover. Turnover is very important. You need to look at it. It's almost like a hidden fee. All right. So Round Hill, I mean, they have this little presentation where they're like, scale the global gaming market, gross revenues, $449 billion. But you can buy this in the VT ETF. You can own the vast majority of these stocks. The global online gambling market in 2019 was 58 billion, and it's going to be 92.9 billion in 2023. Okay, whatever. Like I said, own it in the total world. Then you have geographic breakdowns. They have the United States, Malta, Australia. So th there's a lot of international, which I'm not necessarily against, but you really need to read the prospectus and really understand what you're buying. But before you buy anything, a quick screen of any index is what is your expense ratio and what is your turnover ratio. So this is not a buy. This is strong man disapproved. This is trash. I don't like it. Okay. You can go buy it if you want, but I'll stick to my delicious VT. Anyway, that's it for today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about me and have a wonderful, delicious Sunday.